It's not morning yet. It's just uh, kind of late in the evening of right? yeah, Friday still. And uh, I wasn't going to vlog about this because I'm kind of an Adidas guy, but I was able to cop a pair of some Kith LeBrons. And one of my first hype shoes was a LeBron 11. Can't remember which one it was. It was like the black one with the gold and like it was the King Edition or something. But anyways, um, this was the Kith LeBron sneaker that I really wanted to snab. I really wanted to grab this one here. Super dope. I really like the look of it. And it's got a couple of different options, whatever. There's a couple of sizes still left, it looks like. Oh man, this site is so weird. And, oh look, there's just two sizes left. I was able to snag my pair of 10 and a half. They had this other color that also released. Oh, they already took it off the page. This is the collection. I'm sure all of you sneakerheads already know about this collection. But anyways, this is like the main color. Everybody's like, oh, this pair is so hype, whatever. I didn't actually go after that pair because I don't think it's very wearable with anything I really wear. I'd really only be getting it for resale and the resale isn't crazy the middle pair um it is dope whatever i mean honestly this pair is cool like i could have gone after them but i like this black pair the best probably that's just that's just me yeah i just tried at drop time to get them and i got an order as you can see on that tab right up there i'm not gonna click it because i don't want to give you guys my order numbers but it did go through oh looks like seven and a half and eight are still available let's see if i refresh now it's gone. Yep, totally gone. The Kith LeBron sneakers are over. It's over. It's eight minutes past. Nine minutes past. <laughs> and this, they're, they're all sold out. Kind of weird. Kind of crazy. It happened really fast. But I did get the pair that I wanted, so that's cool. All right, so that's all I had to say. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys here. And it's going to be the morning in the next scene, so let's cut to that. And it's the AM. What's up, people? Just woken up, and today the plan is to hang out with the family, just relax my voice and whatnot, because I gotta sing tonight. Tonight I'm gonna go to a church that requested that I help lead worship, and I said I would do that. Practicing a little bit, got all my stuff out over here. As you can see, got my music and then got my pedal board. I talked about my pedal board a little bit yesterday, so you can watch yesterday's video if you want to know a little bit more about that contraption that I have because uh, I am a sneakerhead. I do collect sneakers. I just copped another pair. Today I should be getting a pair in, so watch till the end of the video and you'll see that. It's probably in the description of what shoes I got. I don't really know which ones I'm getting in today. Uh, yeah, I'm also a foster parent and I'm also a musician, also a teacher, a Sunday school teacher, I guess. Hey, if you are somebody who's unashamed of Jesus, I want to challenge you, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be pushing out content every single day. I have a Bible study at the end of each video or in the middle of the video or sometime in the video so we can have a closer relationship with this person called Jesus. So right now I just talk about the life of Jesus. That's what I'm sticking with and I'm only reading stuff straight from the Bible and then talking about the passage straight from the Bible. So it's not like my own thoughts or anything. This is stuff just from the Bible. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you like the content. And uh, let's get the rest of this day going right now. Oh, yeah. And I feel like an egg, so I'm making one egg. Oh, yeah. Well, babe, looking nice in those snow pants. I'm suiting up, baby. Suiting up? What are you doing? I'm gonna go um, sledding. Sledding? Yep. Ooh, that should be fun. In our driveway. Sledding. With a shovel. Oh, wow. It's okay, babe. I got it. So thanks for getting all dressed up and doing it. You're welcome. It. It's very kind of you. You're very welcome. Yeah. I actually like shoveling. Hey, look. I still have my tags from when we went snowboarding. Nice. When Apparently, I again? collected them. Apparently. Oh, gloves. Those gloves. We need to go snowboarding again. I know. I haven't worn this jacket in years. Yeah. Since we last went. You've been slacking. Do I look ready to brave the cold? Yep. Yeah. You look pretty ready for some negative degrees. Oh, now you're ready. Totally ready. Yeah. All right, you got this, babe. 
Thank you. And then wool socks. Yes, sir. We'll be ready. Yeah, the heel is like up here. Yeah. <laughs> she is working hard. Good job, babe. Thank you. It's heavy. And she has to make a new path. This snow is ridiculously high. She's been coming down for days and days. It's crazy. Man, it really snowed like three feet. I know. It's a ton <sighs> of snow. You doing okay out there? Yeah. My it's fingers are really cold. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, well, they're actually not that cold. Well, they feel numb. Yeah. On the end. You're doing a great job out there. Thank you. Is the little one out there? No. Oh, wow. You're doing like the whole sidewalk? Oh, wow. You're doing like all of it. The mountains of snow. It's just it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. That's a snowbank I've made. Yeah. Working hard out here. Now it. Get it done. Yeah. I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, good job, babe. <laughs> Thanks. Got it done. How are your toes? They're pretty cold. They're pretty cold, yeah. Do you want to warm up for me? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's just crazy out there. All right, people, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon and whatnot. Maybe we'll watch a movie or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, I guess I will see you next at the spot. Let's go there now. Hey, hey, what up, people? Told you I was getting the package today. I knew it because I've been following a couple tracking numbers. Don't remember what this tracking number came from, but it's from Adidas, so um, style code DB1444. I think that is um, Gore-Tex. I don't really remember. I don't memorize style codes or anything, but I remember numbers pretty well. Like that's just kind of my thing. Is numbers. I'm a numbers guy. But here we go. It does look like it is. It's in an Adidas Originals box. This is straight from the Adidas website. And there is the label. Everything I rock is authentic. Everything I buy and show you guys on these videos is authentic. So here is the sneaker looking super dope. Oh man, I love this cloudy cage they decided to put on it this time. And this is the 9317 model of the Adidas uh, Boost sneaker. This one has Gore-Tex lining all over it. It's got tape all over it. And I'm just going to take this stuff out. Take this stuff out. And we'll compare it to some of the other 9317s as well, just to you know, check it out. Looks like they did the branding a little bit different from the um, NMD Gore-Tex. They put Gore-Tex on the one side, and then the other side they put Terex. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but quality control maybe wasn't there the best. If you can tell, there's like paint that is smearing. I'm gonna zoom in here. I don't know what Adidas is doing, but quality control is kind of going down the drain in my opinion, because that's not how it should be. But anyways, let's go over this sneaker. So we have this giant boost midsole, the biggest boost midsole available this is like a triple white kind of version you've got uh the rubber sole here or rubber bottom it does say stealth rubber on there so this must be like a special rubber i guess maybe it's better for snow but yeah it's stealth rubber got a little branding there for it and then we got another um orange here orange there this says 375 and another little gore-tex tab there and then this is like coated with like a uh, some sort of like a plastic overlay or taping and it goes all the way around that taping goes all the way around all the way through and then you got this treated suede it's like a suede that's been treated with uh, probably a, a Gore-Tex spray or something because it feels like it should be soft and and whatnot and it is still pretty soft but all the fur has kind of been taking taken off because of that lining and then we still got the standard burrito wrap tongue just like all the other 9317s 
the burrito wrap, but it does uh, only open up a little bit. It's not as much as some of the other ones. Here's one of the other ones. This is a super dope pair. I'm gonna get, I'm getting another pair of these in soon because they went on sale, but you see that burrito tongue like goes way further down. Like it like goes all the way to there. Basically right there is where it ends. And, and on these ones, it ends just like right at the beginning basically because they got this Gore-Tex lining. This is basically the same lining that they put in the NMD Gore-Tex or the Gore-Tex NMD, however you want to say it, um, but it's like a waterproof material that goes underneath the primate, but this is not primate either. This is like a, I don't know what this is. Some sort of mesh, I guess, but it's not a breathable mesh, so it's just sort of a knit, and it does feel like this upper is super solid. Like, this is like just no stretchiness at all, just totally, completely solid and uh, does not form to your foot, but it does have an ins... Uh, what is that called? It does have the ortholite insole, so there we go. It has a little bit more comfort because of that. Um, and then there is a kind of a cool pattern on this material up here, I guess, like the little diamonds, if you can see that. And then this is like a piece of rubber that has gold paint on the back for that EQT little, um, whatever those are called. And yeah, so that's the sneaker. It's pretty dope. Here's both of them right here. And if you want to see the other side, there is the other side. Pretty dope. I really do like the way that this sneaker looks and I like the feel of it. Um, I don't like that this is not stretchy. It's still probably more comfortable than most sneakers on the market, you know, because it has the boost midsole and you know, this is the 9317. So not only does it have a boost midsole, but it has a huge boost midsole and that ortholite insole that just makes it crazy comfortable and really, really nice. So, and it might even look better with the other laces on there. They got stripes on them. Uh, there's probably some noise in the background. I apologize. It's just my family. They're moving around upstairs. But yeah, so dope sneaker. Glad to have it in the collection. And let's go ahead and let's go to some on feats. Thoughts on fit, these are definitely true to size and the toe box, like, yeah, it's stiff, but there's still enough room for your foot in there. It just kind of feels like maybe you're putting on a regular shoe, but then you step on the boost and the boost still gives you all of its love. Oh man, it feels so nice. And these do feel uh, like they'd be very sturdy shoes, um, very waterproof, I guess, and they're dope sneakers. So if you're thinking about getting them, Go ahead, pull the plug, get some of these Gore-Tex EQTs. You won't be dissatisfied. 
especially if you want to stay dry. What's up, people? We are back. This is the Jesus Taco channel. We're talking about Jesus every single day. We're in the book of Matthew chapter 15 today. I just stick with the Gospels right now. That's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the Bible because they are the books with the accounts of Jesus. So in the book of Matthew chapter 15, I want to read to you a specific parable that Jesus gives in verses... It's in verses 10 through 20. Then Jesus called to the crowd to come and hear. Listen, he said, and try to understand. It's not what goes into your mouth that defiles you. You are defiled by the words that come out of your mouth. Then the disciples came to him and asked, do you realize you offended the Pharisees by what you just said? Jesus replied, every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted. So ignore them. They are blind guides leading the blind. And if one blind person guides another, they will both fall into a ditch. Then Peter said to Jesus, Explain to us the parable that says people aren't defiled by what they eat. Don't you understand yet? Jesus asked. Anything you eat passes through the stomach and then goes into the sewer. But the words you speak come from the heart. That's what defiles you. For from the heart comes evil thoughts, murder, adultery, all sexual immorality, theft, lying, and slander. These are what defile you. Eating with unwashed hands will never defile you. That passage uh, really speaks. It has a couple of different messages in there. The first one being that, you know, if you're following after somebody who isn't really about the heart, they're more about living a certain way or doing these certain actions in order to like gain higher power or go to heaven when you die or whatever, you know, be blessed in the afterlife, however that works. Um, if they're not about the heart and about loving people just to love them, like you know, the things Jesus teaches, then it's just a blind person that's trying to lead other blind people. Like, you should never be following after somebody who's just about actions. Because these Pharisees that Jesus was talking against, there were people who taught others to live a certain way, like through your actions only. And it wasn't, they weren't about the heart at all. And Jesus is all about the heart needs to change, and that's how you gain ultimate power. So the next lesson we get from this is you are defiled by what comes out of your mouth, not by what you eat, like what goes in. Jesus is saying there that what are you allowing into your heart? What are you filling your heart up with? Now, how do you fill up your heart? By living a daily life. Whatever you do in your daily life fills up your heart with either good or with bad. So some of the bad things you can fill your heart up with, evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, lying, slander. All these things are things that we shouldn't be witnessing. They're things that we shouldn't be watching on television. If it's a show or a movie or a video game that has murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, lying, slander, those types of things, Jesus says we shouldn't be allowing into our mind at all. And so I would say to people out there, maybe, you know, if you're playing Call of Duty, like, 100% of the time or 90% of the time, lay off a little bit. That's a lot of murder. <laughs> and I know it's just like fake. It's, it's just fake, but you're still, you know, having the thoughts that it takes to play the video game. Or if you're watching a ton of like movies that are just immoral and whatnot, like lay off on the Game of Thrones. There's a lot of sexual immorality in that stuff. I'm not saying that you can't play any video games. You can't watch any movies or you can't you know, you have to really just watch kids' movies or you can only play racing video games that aren't, you know, in a city. You know, they have to be on a racetrack. I mean, I'm not saying any of that. You can have a personality. You can live the life that you want to live. But let's keep in mind that we need to have all the things that we like. Like, we need to do all these things in moderation. Let's not be going overboard with just spending all of our time with this one thing or that thing like it's not good for us <laughs> it's not good for your heart because when you're filling your heart up with all of that sort of stuff it's gonna flow out of your mouth and what flows out of your mouth is what defines you as a person i want you guys to be people of love people of strength people of encouragement going out of your way to give somebody a positive word from god like hey god loves you or god cares about you or whatever that positive word needs to be at that time and let's just go through this life showing people how awesome god is and that you can live this life and still be like a regular person that's into certain things like that's okay like it's okay to be into video games like you can play video games just don't let it consume you i can be into shoes i just can't let it consume me so anyways guys that's all for today thanks so much for keeping up with me thanks for watching till the end of the video you guys rock you guys make me want to keep making more and more 
content. I love you all. If you guys want to DM me on Instagram, I'll start up a conversation with you. If you want to comment on these YouTube videos, I'll comment back probably. If you want to talk to me on Twitter, it's all good. If you want to find me on Facebook, like I'm not really on Facebook, but I'll be your friend, I guess. Like I'll accept your friend request. And then Snapchat, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, cool deal. You can do that. You can snap me and I'll snap you back probably. Like that's just kind of how I am. I uh, talk to pretty much everybody who reaches out to me. So anyways, that was a mouthful. I'm going to go play worship with the band down at the church that I was asked to play at. So I'll see you guys in the AM tomorrow for church. This is me, Stefan Long, another day, signing out.